people watching is one of the greatest of all pastimes. You sit and judge strangers for the things that you just imagined they'd done. But under all the sweatpants and YOLO t-shirts, the human body actually reveals a lot of secrets about a person that they might not even know about themselves. Genetics, health, age, personality, it's all mapped out on each of us. You just need to know where to look. The hub won't have its own body until the robot uprising in 2049, but if you want to reveal the secrets of our mind, just hit subscribe. Genetics of feet. Let's start at the bottom and move up. Well, not literally. The main thing that feet can show is when you had your last shower. But smell aside, the shape of your feet can indicate your genetic heritage. Of course, in the modern world, we're really all a big, beautiful mix of everything, and it's highly unlikely anyone has a direct lineage of only one race. Egyptians had a perfect slope of toes, as they get progressively shorter from the big toe to the small toe. If they put their feet together, it would make a pyramid. And that's how you start an internet conspiracy theory, people. Their Germanic foot, on the other hand, is one big toe and then four equally sized other toes, a classic example of German efficiency. Eye color. The color of your eyes is controlled by about six different genes, and we generally have one of about eight different shades. Except for the David Bowies of the world who have heterochromia, where each eye is different. So if you want to check whether Bowie is secretly your dad, eye color can give you hints about your parentage. For example, if both your parents have blue eyes and yours are brown, then y'all need to talk. Someone is not telling the truth because that is not possible. In fact, if your eyes are blue as well, then there's only a 1% chance that there's no paternity drama. The science shows that 99% of all blue-eyed couples have green-eyed children, while 1% have blue and 0% have brown. Micro expressions. You might think you have it all together when your ex walks into the room with their sexy new partner, but often your face will give you away, no matter how much you smile. Micro expressions are like tiny twitches in your face that convey your real emotions. With training, you can spot them directly, but we all read them subconsciously. When you hear someone describe a person as having a bad vibe, it's often that they picked up negative micro expressions, but they can't find a conscious reason for what's wrong. Ear print. Fingerprinting was used as far back as the 18th century in China, and in 1911, Thomas Jennings was the first person to be convicted of murder on the basis of fingerprints. But they are not necessarily the only or best way to identify people. With the advancement of computer technology, it's thought that the unique shape of your ear may be even better than facial recognition when it comes to security systems and identifications. So you can expect all gangs to start wearing earmuffs. You're born with your ear fully formed, so apart from some changes in the lobe, it stays pretty much the same. Fingerprints can get calluses and can rub off through a lot of manual labor, but your ears don't really have this issue, unless you're really, really bad at carrying things. Finger length. Palm reading has been around for centuries. Although the lines of your hand don't actually reveal if you're gonna have two children and a dog named Muffin Paws, there is one important fact you can read from the hand. It's all about the finger length specifically the ratio between your index finger and your ring finger. For both sexes, the longer your ring finger is compared to your index, then the longer you are exposed to masculine sex hormones like testosterone. Other studies even indicate it can be correlated with your level of aggression and even sexual orientation. Nails. A common belief is that your nails reveal certain deficiencies. It's said that having white spots appear on your nails indicates that you're not getting enough calcium, or in some claims, not enough zinc. Neither of these are true, though. The white spots are just the signs of minor damage to the nail, often caused by hitting it on something. But you have to wait for them to grow out, so they just stick around long enough for people to start worrying. Tongue. The spots that you do need to pay attention to are those on your tongue. The most common reason is oral thrush, which is just a type of infection babies and people's wearing dentures get. Another possibility is leukoplakia, which is a very early cancer warning sign. Sometimes your tongue gets very red. This could be scarlet fever or a vitamin deficiency. But best of all is when you get red map-like shapes with white borders around them. It's called geographic tongue, which sounds like an aggressive form of kissing, but is actually an almost harmless infection. Skin. You're probably all aware that your skin is a good indicator of your general health. Anyone who's looked in a mirror after three days of partying will notice that their youthful glow has become a pale vacuum, like all the joy has been sucked out of your face. But your skin can actually help make a more specific diagnosis. A butterfly-shaped rash across the face can indicate lupus, a velvety darkening on the neck and underarms can be caused by diabetes, and light patches shaped like an orange peel can be a sign of tuberous sclerosis, a rare genetic disorder. Are you panicking yet? Bruises. 
A bruise forms because you've burst the small capillaries near the skin's surface, and the blood has nowhere to go. It just leaks into the surrounding area. They normally go blue after a day or two, then green after six days, and finally yellow or brown. But just because something looks like a bruise doesn't mean it is. You also get a similar looking mark from diabetes, which is caused by insulin resistance. Blood disorders can cause them too. And let's not forget that your cat might just be punching while you're asleep. It definitely is the last one, actually. Beards. Facial hair is a difficult beast to master since it can turn even the most normal face from regular Joe to creepy uncle with just a few swipes of the razor. And there are more factors than just the current style trends. Men with beards are seen as more aggressive since it's a sign of high testosterone level. In one test, subjects were shown the same expressions on bearded and clean-shaven men. The bearded men were rated as more intimidating overall. Women tend to be most attracted to heavy stubble and see bearded guys as the best fathers. So the moral of the story is clean shave and then buy a fake beard for each occasion. There are also some great insights you can make about a person when you see how they combine their body parts. For example, if their toes are behind their head, they're flexible and probably extroverted. But if their toes are in their mouth, then they are not the kind of person you want to hang out with. Thanks for watching, and we hope you use one of your body parts to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to speed on everything from the hub. See you again soon.